Welcome to GDs and this is Queen of South season 1. This is the story of Teresa Mendoza, the queen of the biggest drug empire in the western hemisphere and her rise to the power. Teresa, working as currency exchange in Sinaloa, Mexico, is where she meets Guerrero and falls head over heels in love with him and this is where her story begins. Guerrero and his friend Chino work for the head of Sinaloa cartel Don Elpifanio. Things get interesting as El Pifanio plans to run for the governor and thus wants to distance himself from day-to-day cartel business. This infuriates El Pifanio's wife Camila as she has helped the business to reach the present glory and thus she refuses to give up the power. So she splits up and moves to Texas to expand. Meanwhile, Guerrero, deeply in love and fearing for the worst, gives Teresa two things: a phone that if rings she was to assume the worst and the diary that would act as a fail safe and if the need arises she could exchange the diary for her life from El Pifanio and then one fine day the phone rings Teresa heeding the warning runs for her life she tries to contact Brenda Chino's girlfriend but before she could warn her Chino is gunned down by Pota and Gato Brenda and her son manages to get out with Teresa's help but get separated in an intense chase Teresa makes her way to a safe house but Pota and Gato finds her Gato rapes Teresa but in the struggle she somehow shoots Gato and makes her escape fearing for her life Teresa calls El Pifanio to exchange the diary El Pifanio picks her up but then doubts click in her mind unsure of El Pifanio's intentions she decides to make a run for it Teresa, quite the runner by now, finds her way to an outpost where she hides the diary in a washroom just before she is grabbed by Camila's men who take her to Texas. Not able to find Teresa, El Pifanio calls Camila and wants to know if she has heard about a girl that ran away from Sinaloa. But Camila decides to keep him in the dark until she knows more. Teresa wants to survive and to be useful. offers Camilla to make an urgent drug delivery and run as a mule. Teresa has a successful run and Camilla is impressed. And in order to know Teresa's loyalty, Camilla tricks her and traps her in a fake DEA bust. But Teresa holds her ground and doesn't reveal anything and thereby gains Camilla's trust. With a newfound trust in Teresa and her ability to handle pressure situation, Camilla asks James her right hand man to show Teresa the ropes and make her part of the business operation Teresa is able to call Brenda and ask her to move to Texas and destroy the phone as it could be traced but before Brenda could destroy the phone Batman manages to intercept the call and finds that she received a call from Texas El Pifanio already doubted Camilla and thus sends Batman to trace and get Teresa back Batman makes it to Texas and abducts Teresa. On their way back, state troopers stop them, but they are on Camilla's payroll and take them back to the boss. Camilla has big plans and she wants to run the entire business. For her ambition, she tries to lure Batman on her side and lets him free that he can be on the winning side, her side, when the dust settles. Also in order to win over El Pifanio's lieutenant she is sending them expensive gifts and she gets in touch with Colombian suppliers directly Batman returns to Sinaloa but remains loyal to El Pifanio and tells him everything they decide to hold and delay drug supply to make Camilla sweat knowing the intentional delay and fearing disruption of business Camilla arranges for a big buy from Colombia directly But El Pifanio is one step ahead and tips the DEA off. The shipment is busted and Teresa and James barely escape. And Camilla is sent back to square one with additional losses to the Colombians. Camilla is getting desperate and since no new deliveries are coming from El Pifanio, Camilla has to go back to Colombians for fresh shipment. But they want their dues of 5 million dollars to be cleared first and gives them an ultimate. In order to get out of the hole, Camilla digs into her reserve, quite literally and figuratively. They get the money 
but are attacked and lose half of the cash desperate to make it work they decide to buy drugs from a miami crew and plan to double cross them but things go horribly wrong and they have to kill the entire crew and teresa kills for the first time this gives them the boost they need and before eric ak birdman of the himenaes cartel can push on camilla's territory she gets her affair in order and stops him additionally she pays off colombians as well james want to tie all loose end of the double cross so ask teresa to kill the maid as she has seen her face but teresa lies and lets her live james is not convinced and find out that the maid is alive but before he could execute her teresa saves the maid again and takes them back to mexico from where she also want to retrieve the diary teresa manages to retrieve the diary how the past few days unfolded made teresa realize that she needs to get out of this life and thus decides to sell the diary and get money for new identities teresa knowing eric to be from a rival cartel and she already knows his place as james made her set up a trap to execute him anyways teresa sends brenda with a copy of a page from the diary to prove if its authenticity and negotiate its value as brenda tries to negotiate james is already there and has been given a green light to take out birdman and before brenda could realize james executes birdman camilla wraps her operations and leaves texas teresa fearing the start of a drug war also decides to pack and go back to mexico on their way back they are able to decode the diary and found that the numbers are coordinates and decide to visit it as it could be a stash house for cash in the final stages of a plan to take over camilla goes to meet don emmanuel the head of himenaes cartel and lets him know that she will be taking over the sinaloa while her husband is busy with the elections and to smooth things out with him for taking out eric and for future cooperation as a sign of goodwill she will bust out his top lieutenant from da custody they agree and james gets him out as things work out with don emmanuel camilla calls for a meeting of top lieutenants of sinaloa and asks them to pledge their loyalties as she will be able to provide them with increased export and better profits el pifanio finds about this meeting and warns his lieutenants about the consequences Meanwhile, Brenda and Teresa reaches at the coordinates only to find out that it was a body disposal site and before they could leave they are caught. They manage to talk their way out but at the last moment Brenda slips up. Teresa is able to run away but is chased and caught. Back to her senses, she finds El Pifanio asking her to return the diary and gives her an hour to decide and leaves her with Pota and Gato to do the needful. But Teresa manages to escape and kill Gato and asks Puta at gunpoint to take her back so she could rescue Brenda. El Pifanio wins the election and thus uses a military to take out lieutenants who have been disloyal. On learning of the military action against his own lieutenants, James goes to get Camilla out. Camilla asks her daughter Isabella to come with her, but she chooses to be with her dad. On the other hand, on learning that El Pifanio took out his friends, Pota's loyalties are shifted and she decides to help Teresa. Knowing Camilla was also betrayed by El Pifanio, Teresa calls and tells Camilla about the diary and asks her to meet at the farm, but Teresa is late to make it to Brenda and she is already dead. With vengeance in her eyes, Teresa tells Camilla that they will take down El Pifanio. But moving forward, she won't work for her but work with her as a partner season 1 ends with shot of surveillance team taking pictures of everyone and we find out it's the americans and their informant kurero